bruv, you are having a bubble. If you guys are looking for some cheap and instant ultimate team coins, be sure to check out FIFACoinsStock.com. Their link will be down in the description as well as a discount code which is shown on the screen right now. Alright people, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my ultimate team club and the squads I currently use on FIFA. Since this gets requested quite a bit on Twitter and I actually haven't made a video in like 6 days so I do want to apologise for that. But if you want to see another video tomorrow basically going through players who could potentially get a January upgrade on FIFA 15 drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments section down below that'll be absolutely awesome but my first team's on the screen right now it's a Barcelona team most of them are packed like you can see here Iniesta's packed Thomas van Marlin's packed Jordi Alba to Stegen you get the idea they're mostly all packed except for Lionel Messi and Neymar you can see I bought Messi for 1.3 million I can actually sell him for a couple of hundred thousand more which is awesome but Messi in this game is just incredible. I know he doesn't have the best goal to game ratio, but I usually play him like centre attack in mid in other teams as well. I don't really use this team too much, but Neymar is okay. I guess as you can see, I've played quite a bit for him because I bought him literally when he came out for 341,000 coins. He doesn't have the best goal to game ratio. I did used to play him back at left mid as well, but he's a decent player in this game. Five star weak foot. And uh, yeah, the bench here, you can see them mostly packed as well. Well, all of them actually except Messi and Neymar. So we'll move on to the next squad now, which is the Premier League squad, which I had to build. Basically, I used to come up against Zarate so many times. And he used to just wreck me. So I built a team around him and you can see he's played two games and scored four goals. He's an absolute god in this game. And this team is awesome and it's quite cheap as well. I do think now most of these players have gone down in price to like affordable prices. I say like one to two thousand coins each, maybe Joe Hart. And Cahill will cost you a bit more, but that's a fun team to use. Two five star skillers as well. And we'll move on to the Gareth Bale team now. I packed Gareth Bale right at the start of all my team. You can see there, played 48 games, scored 37, and got 29 assists. That's because basically he assists Cristiano Ronaldo, who's the other striker, and he doesn't actually have the best goal to game ratio going. Because when I go in single matches right and score a goal with Ronaldo, people just rage quit and. Yeah, kind of ruins his goal to game ratio, but it's still okay, I guess, because he scored 203 in less than 150 games. Also, got 67 assists. We've got Isco attacking mid as well. You can see the assist king, 19 assists and 3 goals in 21 games. Absolute tank. This midfield is balanced as well, can defend and attack. We've got Gundogan, we've got Schweinsteiger and also Marquisio. This left back is one of the best left backs I've used in this game. You can see I played 85 games with him and he's been solid. I haven't really seen the need to up upgrade to Alaba at the moment. We've got Chiellini, De Scigliu, and yeah, Marquisio of course. And the bench is as follows there. We'll move on to the next team. Now, that team I showed you right there is probably one of my favourite teams to use. We've got this team which is called Sil for some reason because it's got a couple of silvers in with Shikawi and Quadrado up front. Now, you might be thinking, you sweaty little fuck using Quadrado up front. But basically, I just wanted as many skillers in this team as possible. So we got Quadrado, you can see I did used to play him at right mid. But ever since I moved into striker, he's been absolutely incredible. Especially with Shikawi up front, who actually has an attributes card on him. Sorry about that guys, but I had a few more clubs, so I decided to just whack it on him. And look at those stats. I can't wait to actually go into a game and try him out with those stats because him normally, you can see there, played 27, scored 57 and got 18 assists. Absolute god in this game. We've got David Luiz at centre-back. And yeah, I switch him out with Thiago Silva sometimes. You can see here the bench again. Matias Fernandez isn't actually a great player in this game, I must say. He's quite average for a five-star skiller, but he's there for his skills again. And uh, yeah, Zuniga has four-star skill moves and he cost me 13 thousand coins. But I highly recommend trying this team out. It's very, very fun to use. Yapi Yopo as well. Is a decent player. I mean, his stats don't look the greatest, but he's quality in midfield, kind of like a Matuidi of League One. We'll move on to the next team now, which is called the King. Basically, made around Thierry Henry, and I was gutted when his in form was a left forward because, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But I guess I could try him out on seven chemistry in this team. But Ribery is an absolute god in this game. You can see by his stats, not only scoring goals, he's assisting as well. And Thierry Henry is banging the goals in there, you can see. And Ben Arthur has a decent record as well. So this team is, again, 
fun to use and you can see i go with the same defense so many times and we've got a new ad right back because qpr don't have a decent right back and he does the job i think he's on seven chemistry yeah so that's pretty decent moving on to the next team which is called copy for some reason but i think this is around shikawi again yeah it is and we have another right forward at striker which is nanny we've got charisma on the wing and we've got cristiano ronaldo on the wing but in game this is what i do and this is what the team will look like in game once i've made that little switch and it's awesome to use again quite solid and surprisingly colo torre is an absolute beast in this game for the two games i've used him just crazy good and yeah we've got yappy yopo and this guy called die who has 85 physical which is quality we move on to the next team which is called leo r7 i'm guessing this is around ronaldo messi here it is We've, I don't really use this team too much because Neymar is out of position there because I've changed his position to a left forward and yeah he's left mid there but this team's okay I guess this formation's quite fun to use again with the same defense these two right here are just ridiculous in this game I mean Benatti I think he's up 4 to 5k for them stats 88 defending you just can't go wrong we've got this little silver team mixed with a few golds again we've got Boateng and this left back because they're just so so good to use Mariano at left back we've got Douglas Costa right here he doesn't really do much you can see 20 games two goals that really isn't good enough I don't really rate him in this game but he's just there for a skill moves but talk about this guy he'll get you goals I mean 13 games 24 goals and 13 assists not only that right he has 90 strength five star skills it kind of reminds me of the ebra last year so i'd definitely go out and try that guy out and we have makai steven on the wing with five star skills and a yeah commons is probably the only weak link i usually just switch him out in game like this so i'll bring on arroyo and that's what the team will look like in game and it's absolutely incredible to use so we'll move on to the next team right now which is gonna be around the main man you can't have ultimate team without ronaldinho in a team and yeah, this is the team I built around him. We've got Arroyo, we've got Peralta, we've got Ronaldinho himself. You can see he played 16, scored 7 and assisted 7, which is okay, I guess. We've got Vitinho at centre mid and Costa again, who doesn't really do too much. Again, you can see the same defence. I mean, if the defence is working for you, I don't see no point in changing it. So it's just fun to use. It's incredible. And they are basically my teams, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. And let me know if you're going to build any of these teams. And if you do, go and try them out and then tweet me your opinions on these teams as well. That'd be quality. Let me know who your favorite player is in Ultimate Team. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.